I have only ever done this with three people before. We're about to create the biggest thundercloud ever. Woo! Let's go! And it is going to be epic, 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 epic. As long as we do it safely. <laughs> When she isn't lecturing students at the University of Texas, Dr. Bieberdorf is Kate the Chemist, crisscrossing the country doing experiments that get kids fired up. Oh, that was awesome! And bursting with excitement. Lucky for us, she's got a few lined up that are both visual and explosive. This is the oscillating clock and it's going to show us a chemical change and what we're going to see is how five different molecules come together to have two competing mechanisms. And so we're going to see a blue and then a yellow and a blue and a yellow and each different color shows like when which reaction is happening. So okay. reaction A happens, then reaction B and back and forth and back and forth. But to do this one, we actually have to put gloves on. Okay. To get this party started, I add some hydrogen peroxide, then some potassium ion iodate in sulfuric acid. But when I add the third solution, that's when the magic happens. Oh, look, it's oh, already working. It's changing. Yep, okay. Oh! Oh! Isn't that cool? So, so this third one had three things in it. It was malonic acid, it had some starch, and manganese sulfate. And so as soon as we bring these two together, what we see is we had the yellow color form. Wow. And then very quickly after that, it goes to blue. You're a magician. I know! Okay. It's science though, right? Like it's all science. magicians are actually scientists. This next one is called elephant's toothpaste, and you're about to see why. We start with hydrogen peroxide, add dishwashing liquid for bubbles, and potassium iodide as a catalyst. This is a chemical change, and it's a chemical change because the catalyst comes in and actually breaks the bonds in the hydrogen peroxide, and when that happens, it releases oxygen gas out the top that's trapped in the bubbles. I add some green food coloring, Give the whole thing a swoosh, and... Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's see what we get here today. Ooh, oh, let's go! Oh, 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 oh. That was a good one! That was amazing. <laughs> Look, Look at this. this. Okay, so the chemistry that you're seeing right now is that you are actually seeing the oxygen gas that was broken apart. It's trapped in the bubbles, and that's why it's being released out, and it's still happening. That was definitely explosive, but we saved the biggest bang for last. It involves a blowtorch, two kinds of alcohol, and two large water jugs. Do not try this at home. So for this one, we are going to see a combustion reaction, which is basically fire. I have ethanol, two carbons. You have propanol, three carbons. So we're gonna open our little bottle, and then what we're going to do is pour our alcohol into our cannons. Here we go. Step one, coat the containers with alcohol. Yeah, exactly, you can kind of like tip a little bit, dance around. Step two, make three big circles. One, two, three, perfect. Step three, turn the jugs upside down, rotate, then turn them back around. Now for the fun part. One, two, three, perfect, just like that. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that, that was, was awesome. <laughs> And that was the ethanol with two carbons. What's going to happen when we light three carbons? One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, that was awesome! That was awesome. And you have to hold it because if you didn't, it this, would move it would... up and down. And actually what can happen is if you don't hold it down, the bottom can blow out. What's really cool, and do not do this at home, is if you do this on the side and then you light it on fire, you have a rocket. <laughs> but now she wants to show me something that no one's ever done before. She and her fellow chemists are going to set off 60 thunderclouds at the same time. So I guess I should learn what a thundercloud is. This thundercloud is awesome because what we do is we take hot water and we add it to some liquid nitrogen. And what we see is an energy transfer. This is all about thermodynamics. And th are you familiar with thermodynamics? Thermodynamics. <laughs> so thermodynamics is basically just the study of energy changes that are associated with heat transfer. So if we have something that's really hot and we add it to something that's really cold, we're going to see the hot energy move to the cold energy. So what we have is the hot water here is at about 80 degrees Celsius, is going to be going into the liquid nitrogen, which is negative one 194 degrees Celsius. Negative 194? I know, it's almost negative 200. Do not put your hand in there. That's okay. why we're wearing these <laughs> exactly. bags right here. So we've got our hot water, we've got a bucket, I've got a tank of liquid nitrogen right here, and we're gonna do a mini thundercloud. Let's do this. So liquid nitrogen is stored in one of these big old things. Yeah, this is called a dewer, um, and so it's something that allows for the liquid nitrogen to stay in the liquid state. Because see, right that. now, we can see that it's transitioning into the gas state, just like that. It's so, almost like it's boiling. Yeah, exactly, yep. That's exactly what's happening. So we're gonna take the lid off of that coffee urn. 
And so inside there we have hot water. And so okay. you're gonna take a scoop of hot water and it's hot, so that's why you've got your cryo gloves on. You wanna just make sure your hands are protected. So what I want you to do now is come over here and just really slightly, just kind of add the hot water to the cold liquid nitrogen. Here we go. Yeah. Ooh, isn't that cool? <laughs> and so the harder wow. you pour, the bigger it's going to be. So if you want to toss it in, you might want to step back a little bit because you might get a wet, but go okay. for it. Yeah, here we it. go. Boom. Nice. Woo! <laughs> Yay! I love this one. <laughs> and that's our small version, right? This is our baby thundercloud that baby. we just created. Yeah. Who knew chemistry was so cool? Like, literally cool. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Do you want to do a bigger one? Uh, yeah. Okay. We got to go big or go home. Right? Here you go. Thank you. Let's do this thing. Now that we've seen one tiny baby thundercloud, Kate's about to blow my mind with 60 thunderclouds. And one, and two. I think everybody's working really hard. There's over 60 scientists behind me, along with Kate the chemist, who's phenomenal. She's leading the charge. And we're about to actually make history. So I hope you're ready. We did it! We did it! It was perfect! Everything worked, no one got hurt, thank goodness. That's what I was really worried about. So everything worked perfectly. Yes! Thanks to Kate the Chemist for helping us make history with the largest thundercloud demonstration of all time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this.